Steve Gamash here with another episode of Chef Knives to Go Quick Look Product Review. And what we have this time is a very interesting, uh, kind of striking looking knife. This is the Saji Rainbow Damascus Aogami or Blue Number no. 2 Guto 180mm knife. And I brought the box out just to show you they come in a presentation wooden box uh, enclosed in a cardboard sleeve. And so we'll pop that box open just to show you. They make a nice presentation all the way around here. Takes a little work to get these out, but so there's our knife. You've got uh, some red felt down there. So put that off to the side. So here's the blade. We'll talk more about this finish, but you can see why they call it Rainbow Damascus. You've got definitely got some different colors going on there. So the construction of this is uh, a center harder hard core cutting steel of algami or blue paper number two reactive high carbon steel. The heat treats around 62, 63 Rockwell on that. And what they do for the Damascus cladding is have multiple layers of stainless, brass, and copper. And that gives you the different colors peeking through uh, in the grind. So it's a very unique and striking look. Uh, these are extremely well crafted knives. They have a stiff uh, feel to them and a bit of meat behind the edge and at the tip so they're definitely not dainty uh, but really really cool execution on these. The um, weight and dimensions can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 206 grams or 7.3 ounces. The edge length is about 183 millimeters or 7.2 inches from the tip to the back of the heel and the overall length on this is just about 12 inches right on the money. The spine thickness is pretty much the same all the way down. I measured it coming out of the bolster at about two and a quarter millimeters and halfway down about two and a quarter. And we don't lose too much. It doesn't really have much tape, distal taper, so it just pretty much stays the same until you hit the grind. And the grind on these is pretty subtle. Uh, the 150 Petty was similar where you just have a kind of a contour that starts. This one starts a little further down than the Petty because it's a taller blade but just kind of a gentle, um, not as noticeable like shoulder going from the blade flat to the edge. It's just a nice contour, continuous contour, uh, convex down to the edge. And it's a really cool look. It's very, very well executed. The, um, Let's see, the height on this is about 44.4 millimeters. So the handle, it's um, it's got a little bit of width to it. It's um, thinner right here, kind of a Coke bottle design. So it thins up nicely towards the uh, bolster and then thickens up a little bit in the back and pretty much stays the same on the width here. It's very comfortable, nicely done fit and finish wise, but there's how much clearance you have. So you'll have to kind of mind your fingers in terms of board clearance. The handle on this one, he tends to use different woods. This particular one is a linen, black linen micarta. It's a really nice look. It's almost got like a carbon fiber type of look to it. It's very well done, nice, smooth fit and finish. You've got three stainless rivets there. The center one is a mosaic pen. So you've got full tang construction. And you can see a metal polished stainless steel metal bolster going down. It's, it looks like a pin bolster because it comes on either side of this, but coming down into the blade. Super smooth transition right here into the choil. Just nice and smooth. Nice fit and finish on this. They've rounded, polished the spine a little bit. The choil is nicely done. Very, very sharp out of the box. This and the 150 Petty. I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10. They had differential sharpening, so they've used a higher, more polished grit on one side, uh, the edge bevel, and a little bit less, um, more coarser grit on the other side. So it's a really, really sharp knife out of the box. Uh, it's a fairly stiff blade. Uh, in terms of the grind, the right side of the blade, as you're holding it, has a little bit of a flatter uh, contour. It's not quite as much contour to it. The left side's got a little more contour shape to it, so that's uh, kind of stands out a little bit. Very nice fit and finish on these, as we said. They're just really striking in person. And you can see it's not hand chiseled, it looks to me. Um, 
You know, this one maybe is a little different. It's a little hard for me to tell here. I think this one might be hand chiseled. The other one almost looked like it might have been stamped in there. I could have been wrong there, but I don't think so. This one looks like it's hand chiseled. Uh, it does kind of have that, I don't know if you can catch it on the camera. It's got that kind of dance thing when you look at it. A little, It kind of moves around a little bit if you move the blade around. But I think that's hand chiseled. You can feel it a little bit. I'd be surprised if it's not on the style of knife. But, but you can see the tip thins out pretty nicely. Not super skinny. It's uh, a little thinner at the edge and a little thinner at the tip than the 150 Petty. But just a really cool blade. Balance point. It's going to be back here a little bit because of the handle and the, the length of the blade. But there's your balance point. Just pretty much right on that bolster. Very comfortable in a pinch grip or racket grip. Let's look at the cutting board profile. So again, this has kind of a stiff, confident type feel to it. Got some heft to it. A lot of that's in the handle, but here's your profile. So butter smooth, um, just kind of a good general gentle belly. Uh, nothing super flat, but a little bit of a stop at the back. And not super tall, or I should say not super high on the upsweep in the front of the belly. But I'll still get pretty high. I'll get up in there for as far as trying to hit the tip end of the wood on the cutting board. So, yeah, you'll be able to rock this thing pretty well. Push-pull cut. It's not a chopper, but uh, good all-around profile. But it's just a really pretty, pretty blade. It's a, got a little bit of a polish to it, so it's kind of hard to tell even on some of that. But it's just really cool with those different colored metals in there. So, very interesting knife. So this is the Saji Rainbow Damascus Aogami number 2 Guto 180mm knife.